So the board for the first time has passed a resolution that says this is what happens if the levy is approved by the voters and this is what happens if a levy is rejected by the voters. If the levy is approved by the voters, we will maintain a positive cash balance through at least fiscal year 27. Our goal is to make this levy last not three years but four. We will be able to maintain our current class sizes and class offerings, and we will only have targeted redistricting. That targeted redistricting would be necessary because we would build elementary 15 on the former Riviera Golf property behind the Jerome High School visitor bleachers. We are thankful for the city's work in planning and zoning as we prepare that site and move a water retention pond so that we are ready to put an elementary school there. If the voters give us permission and approve this on November 7th, that building will open in August of 2025, and the redistricting will be limited to Depp, Glacier Ridge, Deer Run, and Pinney with the new building as we redistribute the students up in that area. If approved, it will also put an addition on our preschool. We are mandated by law to provide preschool services to special needs students who are three and four years old. We are running out of space and will be out of space in that preschool in 2025. It will also allow us to do capital improvements at 14 of our existing buildings. We have buildings like Scioto High School that is approaching its 30th anniversary that needs a new roof, that needs a new elevator, that needs new parking lots. All of those things that if your house got to be 30 years old, you have to take care of, we have to take care of that on a grander scale when we look at a school district this size. On our website, there is an opportunity for everybody to see, this is a little small here, all of the different projects that are part of that $145 million bond request. We would also note that when Abraham Depp and Hopewell Elementary were built, the cost was $285 per square foot. Our estimate for the new elementary school is $515 per square foot, and that goes up every day. So the sooner we're able to get to market and get our bids out, the better we're gonna be, and you know better than we do, uh, it's harder to find construction folks to even bid on some of our projects now, and we wanna be able to get out into the market.